the last thing we need to do is to monkey this up by trying to embrace a socialist agenda with huge tax increases. That was Florida Governor Ron DeSantis during his 2018 campaign against his Democratic opponent, who happened to be black. Really interesting choice of words there, Ron. Really, really interesting. Now, fast forward to today, and his state just banned an AP African American Studies course from classrooms. Hmm, I wonder what his motivations could be. Now, he has received a tremendous amount of backlash, but despite that, he's remaining defiant and he's maintaining that whitewashing history, pretty brazenly so, is really important for the state of Florida. Politico explains, the Republican governor said that he supports banning the course being offered to some high school students because its lessons delve too far into political agendas, broaching topics such as queer studies and abolishing prisons. Black officials in the state, from Democratic lawmakers to faith leaders, however, are seeking to overturn the DeSantis administration's determination that the class significantly lacks educational value. Florida's move to block the course follows a concerted effort by state Republicans to restrict how race is taught in local classrooms. Under DeSantis, the state education department has rejected math textbooks over, quote, impermissible content, including teachings on critical race theory, something that Florida banned in education along with the 1619 project through official action by its board of education. He simply just wants people to be stupid and to kind of prove to you how important it is to know your history. Um, this is what will happen. This is what you'll sound like more specifically if you are ignorant of history. Here's one example. It was the American Revolution that caused people to question slavery. No one had questioned it before we decided as Americans that we are endowed by our creator with unalienable rights and that we are all created equal. Then that birth abolition movements. So you can't teach history that's being used to pursue an ideological agenda. Yes, because DeSantis of all people is clearly the one without the agenda here. Unbelievable, unreal kids. That's why you need to learn your history because you sound like that. You sound like a complete dumbass if you are ignorant of history. Now, I don't know if he's ignorant or he's just pretending to not know the way that things transpired. But either way, that's why we need history taught in schools. Now, he's not just extending his authoritarianism into classrooms with respect to African-American studies. This goes much, much further than many people even know about. The press secretary for DeSantis announced on January 4th, quote, all state university and college systems in Florida have been required to report expenditures and resources utilized for campus activities related to diversity, equity and inclusion and critical race theory. Stay tuned. Now, aside from explicit directives like that and them banning specific courses like African-American studies, well, a lot of these laws that DeSantis has signed into law that kind of controls the school curriculum is extremely vague. That includes the Stop Woke Act, the Don't Say Gay Law, and it's having a chilling effect on free speech in the classrooms. For example, during an Orange County Teachers Association meeting back in June of last year, teachers were instructed to get rid of rainbow lanyards that the district had given them the year before and remove pictures of their same-sex spouses if they teach elementary education in order to remain compliant with the state's Don't Say Gay law. Now, additionally, as the Washington Post reports, in Duval County, school administrators recently held back 26 books from elementary schools, including Roberto Clemente, Pride of the Pittsburgh Pirates and climbing Lincoln Steps, the African-American journey, until a committee determines if they meet the standards of the new state law. But it gets even worse, believe it or not, because as Judd Legum reports, teachers in Manatee County, Florida, are being told to make their classroom libraries and any other unvetted book inaccessible to students or risk felony prosecution. The new policy is part of an effort to comply with new laws and regulations championed by Governor Ron DeSantis. It is based on the premise promoted by right-wing advocacy groups that teachers and librarians are using books to, quote, groom students or indoctrinate them with left ideologies. Kevin Chapman, the chief of staff for the Manatee County School District, told Popular Information that the policy was communicated to principals in a meeting last Wednesday. Individual schools are now in the process of informing teachers and other staff. So we've come so far to where we're at a point where we're not just seeing books being banned from classrooms, and that's unsurprising, but teachers who don't remove said banned books are facing legal penalties. This is fascistic 
and it's deeply authoritarian. And Ron DeSantis has constructed a sort of nanny state in order to police what your children can and can't read. You might think it's appropriate, but Ron DeSantis has the ultimate say. Now, I wish I could say that this was a phenomenon that was limited to the state of Florida, but unfortunately, other states have done similar things, and if they haven't already gone as far as Florida, they're considering measures that are as equally authoritarian and Orwellian. For example, North Dakota's Republican-controlled House Judiciary Committee just recently heard arguments last Tuesday about banning LGBTQ plus inclusive books from public libraries. And here's the kicker. They will jail any librarian for 30 f***ing days if they refuse to remove said banned books that the state deems as offensive. So we are headed down a very dangerous path and i don't think that people truly understand the gravity of the situation here we're not just talking about bans on books there are states like north dakota who are considering the possibility of not just banning books from public libraries but jailing librarians who refuse to comply with their book bans and this is happening in multiple states but Ron DeSantis unquestionably has been the individual who spearheaded this movement. And the thing that should worry everyone the most is that it keeps getting worse. Remember last year how egregious it was to see all of these book bans being proposed? Well, now it's not just the book bans that are sufficient. They're raising the specter of jailing librarians, penalizing teachers legally in the state of Florida if they end up giving a child a book that was unbedded and deemed offensive by the state. Folks, this is fascism. We are in dangerous territory here. And the level of scrutiny that Ron DeSantis is getting is nowhere near enough. That's not to say that states shouldn't have a say over the curriculum in schools. But the extent to which Ron DeSantis has weighed in is chilling. This is an attack on freedom. This is an attack on freedom of speech. And I don't think that people are going to wake up until it's too late, unfortunately. But this is deeply dangerous. And it's fascism. If anyone at this point in time is still denying that, they're absolutely naive.